Tarcolis Costa Rica is where we find our next call of nature, a call that nearly turned into a crocodile dinner bell. Crocodile safari guide Wilkie Asabi found internet stardom when a feeding demonstration went wrong, scoring nearly half a million views online. I was feeding that big crocodile, it was coming towards me. Then I went like in quicksand, but I was like one step ahead. You know, I, I knew from before what the crocodile is gonna try to do. That day it was like a normal day for us in the, another day in the office. It wasn't too close. Yeah, right, Wilkie. Well, anyway, he escaped with his limbs intact. But the question is why the crocodile ate the bait and not Wilkie. Crocodiles could pretty much go for any prey, but it takes a lot of energy to do that, and they only do it if they're very hungry. This guide understands these crocodiles, and crocodiles have an ability to remember. They can learn what's going on. So it's easier for it to know that this small morsel will come every day than to use a lot of energy when it's not particularly hungry to try and attack the guide. But if the crocodile was hungry, would it have eaten Wilkie? If the crocodile was hungry, he would not have stood a chance. Crocodiles can run 16 kilometers an hour, which is 10 miles an hour. And they have about 70 sharp interlocking teeth. So it would have grabbed him in a second and uh, done what it does. Crocodiles, they are dangerous. Like any, any wild animal, we need to respect. And I think that's the key. If you respect their territory, their habitat, you respect their babies and all that, you can deal with them. Otherwise, they can be deadly to you.